resident wedding expert for Cricut and today I am going to be talking about how to use the slice and the weld tool. I use both of them all the time in my Cricut designs and I hope that you can get a few tips from this video. If you aren't already in love with these tools, I hope that you will be by the end. So let's get started. First I'm going to delete these and then I'm going to talk about just two really simple weld options. So the first is going to be welding shapes together. So let's say that you want to create uh, your own little um, mouse head here. And there we go, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to drag my cursor around all three layers. It selected all three of them. Once selected, the weld tool is now um, illuminated, which means you can use it. See how the slice tool isn't? Uh, the weld tool is ready for use, so I'm gonna click that. And now, as you can see, if I drag it bigger, now you only have one cut path, just all the way around the outside. It completely um, welded wah, wah, the three shapes together and made it one brand new shape. So that's awesome. So First weld technique is just shape to shape. Second weld technique is one of my absolute favorites and this is something that I use all the time. Let's say you have this beautiful little word here, hello. I'm gonna click into advanced and ungroup to letters. Now I can take my letters and stack them on top of each other in whatever design I want here. I'm actually gonna make this H a little bit bigger. Okay, so now I like how that looks, and let's say I'm making uh, an iron-on t-shirt, or uh, a greeting card, and I wanna cut this out of paper, or iron-on, or vinyl, or anything. If we cut this as it is right now, all of these pieces are gonna cut individually. We don't want that. So I'm going to select, again, all the way around the entire shape, or the word, and hit weld, and now, it's one entire shape. It's just one, I think I can change the color so you can see it better. There you go. It's one, there's just one cut outline. Now this is, now this is considered an image. It is no longer um, a word so we can't edit it anymore. So if you misspelled something or you don't like the, uh, the layout, you just gotta start over. But that is the second weld option. So we've got welding letters together. And like I said, I use that all the time. So those are two really awesome ways to use weld. And then I'm going to now talk about uh, slice. And let's start with a banner idea. So this is going to be two awesome ways to use slice all at one time. So let's say I'm going to make a banner that says hello. And I would like that banner ribbon tail end. So I'm going to take this triangle and place it at the end of this rectangle. Now I'm going to select both of them. Uh, the biggest thing to keep in mind when slicing is that you can only use two layers at a time. You can't use three for anything. It can only be two. So I'm going to select tool two, these two, and now you can see that the slice tool is illuminated. So just like before when we selected all these things and then the weld was available to use. Now the slice is available to use, so I'm going to do that. Now that leaves us with quite a few pieces. That leaves us with this piece, this piece, and this piece. Now I don't want any of those, so I'm just going to delete them all. And now, here's my cute little banner. I mean, we could go as far as to even add little cutouts for ribbon. Okay, again, those are two, so we can only do one at a time. So we'll select that slice. Oh, there it is. Delete. Now I'm going to. So the other thing that happens is when you slice, your slice result uh, goes to the top of the layers panel. So if you need to um, reorganize them, you can. But I know that the circle is where I want it, so I'm just going to hit um, to select those two. Hit slice. There it is. And now, oops, undo. Slight, I selected the wrong piece to delete. Okay, so now you can see here is my uh, little banner tile. And I think I'm going to, just for the sake of fun, we're going to make 
make it say that I'm gonna do an H. So I'm adding the H here, and then I don't want this H cut out of a separate paper that I put on top. I want this whole thing cut out of one piece of paper. Um, so I'm going to select again both of them and hit slice. And now, there you go. So we have sliced out the banner, um, the little ribbon tail of the banner tile. We sliced out the holes for the ribbon or the yarn or whatever you're going to use to hang it. And we sliced out the letter. So now you just have one piece of um, one design that you're going to cut out. And those are just three great ways, you know, using a shape or a letter that you can use the slice tool. Okay, so now I am going to show you slice and weld in one. You can get really crazy if you want to um, with uploaded designs or um, anything you find in design space. I'm going to take this mermaid tail and I'm going to ungroup it because I don't want all these pieces. Then I don't want that piece either, but I do want these two pieces. So what I'm going to do is I want my tail to look a little bit different and I don't want these uh, little designs here. And then I'm going to change, I'm going to add a little, a couple little extra pretty little things here in the tail. So I want to weld this on top of here to make the tail look a little bit cuter. But first I need to delete part of it. So just to make things easier, I'm going to take this square and I'm going to turn it just a little bit and then I'm going to drag it. Okay, that looks perfect. So now I'm going to slice these two pieces. What happens when I slice these two pieces is now I have the tail, now I have this extra bit, and now I can delete that tail. So now the tail is deleted, which is exactly what I wanted. So like I said, it, it, um, when you slice, the, the sliced item goes up to the top. So now I want just this extra little bit of the tail. I just want this little flare right here. And I want to cover up all those little pieces. So now I'm going to select both of them and I'm going to hit weld. You know that your weld is complete when two separate colors now become one color. So now I sliced the tail apart and now I've welded it, welded the tail together. So I like that cute little uh, cutout there. And now I like that all those um, little design pieces are gone. So the other thing that I want to do, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can, it's easier to see, is I'm going to add a couple little stars into her tail because I think that would be super cute. And have them cut out just like those little scales are. So I'm going to select that, slice, now I'm just going to remove the sliced pieces. Ah, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna add another little star. Make it real nice and tiny. And we'll put it right here. And select both pieces, slice, delete the sliced results. So now we have a mermaid tail that is a little bit more custom and kind of along the lines of more of what I was looking for design-wise. So those are two, the, that's just a great example of how you can use slice and weld together. And then now this is just all one piece and it's ready to get cut out of anything that you'd like to cut it out of. Um, I hope that you enjoyed these slice and weld tips and if you have any questions you can leave it below in the comments or you can leave it on our Instagram and I'm excited for you to get slicing and welding. Okay, good luck. Happy crafting.